Traveling to Canada from the United States is now a little easier. Canada has lifted COVID travel restrictions. MTN's Brianna Juno breaks down what this means and has reaction. About seven months ago, we covered the Freedom Convoy protests that blocked transportation through the Sweetgrass Canadian border due to COVID-19 mandates. While the government of Canada will be removing the COVID-19 border and travel measures starting October 1st. Regardless of citizenship, all travelers will no longer have to submit public health information, provide proof of vaccination, undergo pre or on arrival testing, carry out COVID-19 related quarantine or monitor and report if they develop signs or symptoms of COVID-19 upon arriving to Canada. These regulations have been in place since November of 2021. Canada's Honorable Omar al Gabra, the Minister of Transport, said that Canada's travel measures successfully mitigated the full impact of COVID-19 for travelers and workers in the transportation sector and helped keep communities safe. Thanks to Canadians who rolled up their sleeves and got vaccinated, we are able to take this great step towards easing measures and returning to normal. For frontline workers like truckers, many of them say that the vaccination requirements made it difficult to do their jobs. Joseph Hansen, a truck driver from Alberta, says that he's mostly frustrated with how the Canadian government handled the pandemic from the beginning. It's something that should have never been in place to begin with. This whole COVID issue could have been resolved in two weeks. North America shuts down two weeks. Nobody loses their jobs. Nobody goes out of business. It's one vicious circle. Several truck drivers now say that lifting the COVID-19 travel measures is long overdue. We were all forced to get the vaccine or you're going to go out of business. So it would have mean, meant something two years ago, but not now. Oh, doing it now, it's way too, too little, too late. It's not going to affect anybody anymore. In Great Falls, Brianna Juno, MTN News.